Today is day of Pentecost. 歡迎你嚟到我哋嘅崇拜。今日係聖靈降臨日。讓我哋誒、嗯、好唔好舉起我哋嘅雙手，我哋一齊讀今日嘅智禮經句。Shall we just lift up our hands and read this、um, opening sentence, the scriptural opening together,、uh, two times? I will say in English the first time, and I will say in Chinese the second time. 嚇，我第一次會會用英文嚇，你哋可以。誒、uh, 用廣東話、國語、英文或者任何語言。第二次我就會用廣東話。Okay, let's 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 pray together and ask the Holy Spirit to come. Yeah, just say it loud and pray and wait and ask the Holy Spirit to come. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in us the fire of your love. 圣灵啊，来临我哋中间，充满你信徒嘅心灵，点燃我哋心中你嘅爱火。Now let us have the entrance response. We have the、um, uh, Christ is risen. Let's read together. In Cantonese, Mandarin, English, French, any language. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. The Lord, Lord is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Let's sing the shofar to welcome the presence of our Lord coming here, that we worship Him with everything we have, with our heart, with our soul, with our everything. Let's welcome our Lord by sounding the shofar. Amen. We praise God with joyful sound. Good morning, church. Today is Pentecost. Come by, Min Chun Ji. It is the day we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit on all people groups. We're going to begin by reading from Psalm 104 in English and in Cantonese. 我哋今日用诗篇一百零四篇嚟开始，我哋邀请圣灵嚟到我哋嘅当中。May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in His works. He who looks at the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. Let's keep going to the next slide. Yeah. 我要一生向耶和华唱诗，我还活的时候要向我神歌颂。愿他以我的默念为甘甜，我要因耶和华欢喜。Praise the Lord, my soul. 要称颂耶和华。Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's declare the splendor of our King. The splendor of the King, clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice! All the earth rejoice! He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice. Trembles at his. Age. 
在君王，从今直到永远，你永不曾改变，永存在天地间，你是世上真神。战胜的羔羊，全能胜羔羊。我身真伟大，歌声的生命真伟大，全你都看见。我身。peoples, all tribes, all nations, all tongues. For the next song, it's going to be a fun song, a fun beat. If you have an instrument or a shaker, you can grab it. Or even a tambourine, or you want to bang a cup or a plate. We're going to have some fun. And we're actually going to be singing this song, God is So Good, in a few different languages. On Pentecost, it said, the Bible tells us people declared how wonderful God was in many different languages. So today, we're going to sing it a few times in English, and we're going to sing it in uh, Mandarin. Mandarin, and then in Korean. Korean, and then in Swahili, the beautiful language of Africa. So we're going to sing God is so good. Try to sing at it too. Shenzhen Mei Hao. 
that we will uh, read a lesson but today's lesson is very very uh, wonderful because we will have brothers and sisters uh, speaking in 10 yeah when I counted I think it's 10 different languages and dialect we will have English um, Swahili um, and uh, this is from Africa one of the dialects of Africa and Mandarin and Spanish, Cantonese, I think it's Vietnamese, uh, Korean, French, Chaozhou, Pakistan. Wow. Thank you a lot. Now, let's read today's collect together. Collect means uh, the, the collection of all the scriptures and messages in the beginning of the service and then blend it into one prayer. That's collect. So let's read it together in either language you choose. I'm going to read in English. Almighty and ever living God, who fulfilled the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal. Keep us in the unity of your spirit that every tongue may tell of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen Today lessons is on Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven 
and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Kisha vikatokea vitu vilionekana kama ndimu za moto vikagawanyika kutua juu ya kila mmoja wao. Wote wakajazwa Roho Mtakatifu wakaanza kusema lugha mbalimbali kadri roho ilivyowawezesha. Leslie, you have to unmute your mic, Leslie. This consultados. Okay. This consultados y maravillados, they say, no son Galileos todos estos que están hablando. Como es que cada uno de nosotros los oír hablar en su lengua materna. Como un pacto y ayan, mato ayan. Yi Jolie, Go 지금 시작은 아침 9시 밖에 되지 않았습니다. 여러분이 생각하는 것처럼 이 사람들이 술에 취한 것이 아닙니다. Mais c'est ici ce qui a été dit par le prophète Joël. Dans les derniers jours, dit Dieu, je répondrai de mon esprit sur toute chair. Vos fils et vos filles prophétiseront, vos jeunes gens auront des visions et vos vieillards auront des songes. Oh,那些记住，我要将我的灵交光我的福经，发生能，他们就要学耳能。呃，Bab, uh, uh, Nasser, you need to unmute. Okay. और नौ पर आसमान पर अजीब काम और नीचे जमीन पर निशानियां यानी खून और आग और धुएं का बादल दिखाऊंगा सूरज तारीख और चांद खून हो जाएगा पेशतर इससे के खुदावंत का अजीम और जलील दिन आए एंड एवरीवन हु कॉल्स ऑन द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड विल बी सेव्ड दिस इज द वर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड Thanks be to God. All right. Can we go to the next slide, please? Our gospel today is from John, chapter 15, 26 to 27, and 16, 7 to 15. Lord Christ. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who goes out from the Father, 
he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because people do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father, where you can see me no longer. And about judgment, because the Prince of this world now stands condemned. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own, he will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Fill us up now. Open up our hearts to hear from your voice, your word. Pour your spirit upon us in a mighty way that we would know that you are God and that you love us. We pray this in your name. Amen. So, the day of Pentecost. Today is the day that we celebrate the pouring out of the spirit. And I'm going to be focusing today on the book of Acts chapter 2. The passage that was read so beautifully by all of our brothers and sisters in so many different languages. And these languages are a small fraction of the languages of the world, but it's so wonderful to witness God's kingdom and to hear his word being spoken and read in so many different languages. I hope that your hearts are also filled with joy as mine was as we listened to all of God's words being read in these languages. I hope that this reading helps you imagine what it might have been like on the day of Pentecost when the disciples filled with the Spirit poured out into the street with no fear and they just declared the wonders of God in different tongues. Tongues that they didn't know how to speak. Tongues that all these people who had gathered in Jerusalem for the festival from different nations could understand. I don't know about you, how many of those different languages or dialects you could understand. I could only understand a few of them. But even when I didn't understand, my heart leapt because I knew that God understands all of what was being said. It's beautiful. And just as it happened then, today, we can look to and we can declare the wonders of God in our midst. Because we look forward to a day, as Revelation tells us, when we will all gather around the throne of God and we will praise Him in our different tongues, worshipping and declaring all of His mighty acts. Next slide, please. The wonders of God. I have this picture here. I don't know if you can see it. You can try to blow it up on your screen if you like. This is a painting I found online uh, that's attributed to a community in, I believe it was in Cameroon, who out of some of the expression that they were having created this art of imagining the day of Pentecost, the day that the Holy Spirit descended, the advocate, the helper that Jesus promised. Remember, Last week, when we looked at Acts chapter 1, Jesus left and he left them with the promise, right? He left them with the promise to wait in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit has come. He left them with the promise of his presence, always with them. I can't be with you any longer, but I will send one who will be with you. You can be filled by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit was poured on the disciples. Remember, they were kind of afraid. They were still meeting in locked rooms, and then Jesus began appearing to them, right? And he began to teach. 
and he began to, to help them and prove to them that he was truly alive. And that began to change their whole view of life. It changed their view of themselves and of God and of his kingdom. And so they were gathered waiting, not afraid anymore, waiting in anticipation. My daughter Chloe, who I was just hugging, she's right here. Her birthday, Chloe, do you know how many days it is to your birthday? Twelve. Twelve days! She's been counting the days. She is in anticipation. She is looking forward to her birthday. She's counting. She's looking forward. Do these words sound familiar? That's what the disciples were doing. They were waiting. They were looking forward to the gift. I hope that today on Pentecost, we can be reminded of the anticipation we can have for God's presence, His filling, His work in our lives. And wow, it's amazing. When the Holy Spirit comes and descends on each of them, it looks like fire. And they begin to be f speak in different tongues because they were so full of the Spirit. As the Spirit enabled them, because God was the one who was at work. It wasn't because they suddenly learned a new language. It's because God was speaking through them and giving them a language. And so we see in verses, the verses 5 and after, that there were all these Jews from different places, from every nation. And they heard this commotion, this sound, because the disciples had burst out into the streets and they were just praising God in tongues they couldn't even understand. And the crowd showed up and they were like, oh, I can hear my language. I can hear my dialect. You know, I understand very little Chinese. I don't know about you guys who understand a lot more Chinese, but did you guys understand like Jolene or Philip's dialects? It's so interesting. We share a language, but the dialects sound so different. You know, I have uh, some Taiwanese um, side of my family. My mom is from Taiwan. Um, and so when they speak Taiwanese, like my cousins or my aunt or whatever, I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. But they're related languages. It's crazy. And it's beautiful. And it's amazing. And those people, they were amazed because they were hearing about God's wonders in their own language. Now, some people there interpreted it as drunkenness. Verse 13, some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Do you know that when we are filled up with the Spirit, sometimes when we give up ourselves to Him, it might appear like we're drunk. Why? Because we lose our fears and our inhibitions. We completely rest in God's presence and we trust in His power. And so we're not afraid to say things. Right? We're not afraid to do crazy things that God calls us to do. It looks similar, but it's so different because it is God who is at work. <laughs> Often, when we encounter things that we don't understand, things that are beyond our imagination, we grasp at things that we do understand to explain them. And so people looked at this scene and they couldn't get it. They didn't know that it was God. And because they didn't understand yet, their minds went to what they could understand. This looks similar to being drunk. It must be that. Peter says, of course, it's only 9 a.m. We haven't had time to get drunk yet. No, this is the Spirit. And then he goes on to teach. But I want to pause here and I want to ask you a question. Do you look for the wonders of God in your life and in this church? Do you look for God's wonders? Are you looking to see what God is doing? Have you asked Him to open up your eyes? and to reveal to you what he is doing. At Pentecost, we're reminded that God does wondrous signs in our midst, but are we paying attention? Next slide, please. 
the power of God. In Acts 1.8 last week, we looked at this verse, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You will receive power. Does that mean that I'm going to hulk out? I'm going to break this shirt? I'm going to be super muscular? No. It's the power of God that rests upon us. It's the power of God to transform my heart from being a hard heart of stone to a heart of flesh. It's God's power to bring healing. You know, I have a cup here of lemon tea and I've had a sore throat the last two days and a cough and I've been praying and so far I haven't coughed yet. I might still cough, but I haven't coughed yet in this sermon. My throat is a bit hoarse. You can probably hear it, but I can't make my throat feel better or heal. I can make it feel better a little bit for a little time. But he is the one who heals. We've been praying for different people who have been sick. And we've been asking for God for healing. Yes, for you too, Chloe. We pray for healing for you. And God has healed you. The Holy Spirit empowers us to do things that people can't understand. They might try to explain it away, but it only can be truly explained when we acknowledge that it's from God. Healing, tongues, prophecy, all these things and more point to God and they give him glory. This is the power of God at work in us, the Holy Spirit. We can always take that in a bad way. We can be selfish and use God's power for our own self. But God wants us to use his power for his glory. And it wasn't just for those disciples then. It wasn't just at the very beginning of the book of Acts that God was doing this. No, he poured out his Holy Spirit not just then, but for us now, because the Holy Spirit lives in all of us ever since Pentecost. Peter stands up in verse, in verse 14, and he explains to the crowd, listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk as you suppose, it's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy i will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below blood and fire and billows of smoke the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the lord and everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved that is the power of god what was prophesied in the Old Testament, hundreds of years ago, now it was coming true. It was being fulfilled. God was true to his word. And God was doing his work. It's God who was doing this. God who's bringing about his power. Next slide. And so God is the one who pours out his spirit. It's not based on you or me being anything special. It's not based on how smart we are or how strong we are. In fact, it is about acknowledging how weak we are. He is the one who does this. When we look at the story of God and his people throughout the scriptures, it's never been about his people being strong and being able to do stuff. No, it's about them not having enough wisdom, not being strong enough and needing God to deliver them, 
to deliver them from persecution, from death. And so we don't go after earthly power. Instead, we choose to become servants like Jesus and receive God's power. Allow His power to be at work, even if that means sacrificing ourselves, just like Jesus did. That's what it's about. It's God who pours out His Spirit. Now, I'm not going to spill this cup, but imagine here I needed a refill and I had a kettle. I don't have a kettle right now, but imagine. And I poured, and you might pour half a cup. You might pull a full cup. But when God pours out His Spirit, He pours and pours and pours if we are willing to receive, if we don't pull away. He is willing to pour so that we overflow His living water to others. Are you willing to be filled out so much that you overflow? It's messy. It's wet. But we can then pour out out of the abundance of living water that God gives us, His Spirit, His power at work in us to bless others. We want to see God's wonders. Do you want to see God's wonders? Amen? Yes? I want to see God's wonders in my own life, in my family, in our church. I want to see God's wonders. I hope you do too. Hi. Hi. So we want to invite the Holy Spirit to yeah, fill us up. Oh, hello. My children are overflowing with their abundant love for me right now <laughs> by paying a visit in the middle of my sermon. That's okay. So we want to invite the Holy Spirit. Okay, you stay with Daddy. You stay with Daddy. I love you, buddy. To fill us up and to show His power, to overflow with His love, His joy, His hope in our hearts. Let's do that right now. I want you just to close your eyes and open your hands. And we just say, come Holy Spirit, come. Would you fill us up so that we can overflow? Help us know that we are loved. Fill us with your joy in the midst of discouragement and disappointment. Give us hope, even though COVID has lasted for so long. We put our hope and trust not in COVID ending, but in you, Jesus. Because you are at work no matter our circumstances. Fill us up, Holy Spirit. Fill us up, we pray. Amen. Ask him what he is doing. Ask God to show you what he is already doing. Maybe you're like, I can't see anything in my own life right now. Maybe I haven't been so filled up with the Spirit. But God is still at work. Maybe in circumstances around you, in your family, at your workplace. Maybe you just haven't been able to see it. Ask Him to open up your eyes so that you can see and join with what He's doing. Because when we join with God and we allow Him to be at work in our hearts, that's when we can be filled even more. We need to be a church that blesses others through God's power and work. We want to see healing and deliverance. We want to have prophecy and tongues. We want to see that God will miraculously provide and protect us. All these things and more. We cannot do these by ourselves. We can only do them because the Spirit fills us and gives us his power. And guess what? When we do this, when we live this out, people are going to be confused. Your neighbors, your friends, your family, your co-workers, they're going to be like, Oh, Josh, why are you acting so weird? You're kind of not who you were before. You seem a little drunk, maybe, at 9 a.m. 
I don't know if that will actually happen to you. But when they come to you confused, you can be like Peter and say, no, this is what is happening. I am full of the Holy Spirit. God is speaking to me and I'm hearing him and I'm full of his love and joy and hope. And I want to bless you as well. So let's bless our neighbors. I want to end with two questions for you to reflect on. These were the questions that I had last week for the English service. The first one is, do you see evidence of the Holy Spirit's power in your life? If not, go back to the previous step. Ask him to show you how he is at work. And then we have to think about what will we do next? How is God asking you to obey and follow him that requires depending on his power? that you cannot do by yourself, but you can only do by prayer and faith because it isn't up to you. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, would you show us that you love us? Thank you, thank you that you don't abandon us, but that you are with us and that you love us and that you want to fill us up. Forgive us for the ways that we walk away from you or reject your voice and tune our hearts to hear and respond in obedience to your call, that we would not be overcome by fear or discouragement, but rely on you and trust in you that you are good and loving and kind and that you want to demonstrate your power to heal, restore, and bless. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it, was it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever, and ever shall, shall be, be world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Now let us proclaim our faith by saying the Nicene Creed together. We This is a very important and holy moment because we recommitted our life to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I would like you to stand and let's say the Nicene Creed together. I will invite you to stand and say the Nicene Creed together. I will invite you to stand and say the Nicene Creed together. We will say the Nicene We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. 因聖靈的大能由同精女瑪利亞所生,並成為人,在本丟比拉多手下為我們被釘十字架,被害受死而葬,應驗了聖經的話第三天他復活升天,坐在聖父的右邊,他將在榮耀中再臨,審判活人死
我哋为一切主教牧师会嚟祷告。That they may be faithful ministers of the word and sacraments. We pray for those who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on earth. 求你施恩，使我们大家在所从事的工作当中，都能遵行你的旨意。求你怜悯嗰啲被各样忧伤或困苦所缠绕嘅人，使佢哋可以得到。Give to the departed eternal rest, and light perpetual shine upon them. 我们为已经进入喜乐的众圣徒赞美主。我们要为自己及别人嘅需要祷告。Hear what our Lord Jesus said: You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. The second is this: Love your neighbor as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith. Firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all men. Let's say the confession together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done. And by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, we pray you of your mercy. Forgive what we have been, amend what we are, direct what we shall be, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, "Peace I leave with you; my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives." Do I give to you the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also, and also with you. Let's see each others. Yeah, with all the faces we have, maybe more than 150 or more. Yeah, even though we have a 97. Peace, I will hand over to you. Peace be with 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 you. Peace, everyone. Shalom. Peace. I have it on. Um. I share it. Um. I got how you hold the mic.
拜去讲平安。大家平安。拜。平安。大家平安。大家平安。Bye bye 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 Then, my brothers and sisters, because of God's great mercy to us, I appeal to you: offer yourselves as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to His service and pleasing to Him. Now, let us sing the offertory hymn: "Breathe on Me, Breath of God." Breathe on me, breath 
breathe on me, breath of God, so shall I never die, but live with thee the perfect life of thine eternity. Thank you, Lord. Now, we, we will have Reverend uh, Francis to celebrate the Eucharist with us. Reverend Francis is going to uh, speak in the, um, uh, the, vo- the responses. Uh, he will lead in uh, Swahili. Uh, he is an uh, Kenya priest, uh, uh, and he and his wife, Georgia, have been with us uh, for m- more, than, more than two to three years. And, um, and uh, so uh, you will just respond in either English, Mandarin, or Cantonese. Uh, Francis, a priest, is a priest for Swahili. Uh, 就是很多非洲國家都用所謂的字的,那你們就英國、廣東話就得了,有或者呢,可以用其他的語文。Now you 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 I'm a It is right and our delight to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, living God, supreme over the world, creator, provider, savior, and giver. From a wandering nomad, you created your family. For a burdened people, you raised up a leader. For a confused nation, you chose a king. For a rebellious crowd, you sent your prophets. In these last days, you have sent us your son, your perfect image, bringing your kingdom, revealing your will, dying, rising, reigning, remaking your people for yourself. Through him, you've poured out your Holy Spirit filling us with light and life. Therefore, with angels, archangels, and all in heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Almighty God, owner of all things, we thank you for giving us your only son to die on the cross for us who owe you everything. Pour your refreshing spirit on us as we remember him in the way he commanded through these gifts of your creation. You may take your bread that on the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take it, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. His body is broken for us. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and he gave it thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in remem- do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ, Christ has died. Christ has died. Christ has died. We are brothers and sisters through his blood. We have died together. Rise together, live together. Therefore, Heavenly Father, 
Hear us as we celebrate this covenant of joy and await the coming of our brother, Jesus Christ. He died in our place, making a full atonement for the sins of the whole world, the perfect sacrifice once and for all. Yes, accepted his offering by raising him from death and granting him great honor at your right hand on high. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. This is a feast of victory. The Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Hallelujah. And as Jesus taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Kingdom come, kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. God. You may share your bread and wine. The blood of Christ, give them to me. The Christ be drink that night. You take your time as you share the body of Christ and the blood of Christ with each other. And just take some time to reflect upon the message you've received today about the power of God working in our midst. So let us all come together and pray the prayer after communion. Together, Almighty God, Holy Father, we have sat at your feet, learned from your word, and eaten from your table. We give you thanks and praise for accepting us into your family. Send us out with your blessing to live and to witness for you in the power of your spirit. Through Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead. Amen. So if you have a cross um, near you, or you can point to the cross that is at the church. So let us say the blessing. And all our problems, we send to the cross of Christ. All our difficulties we send to, we send the, to the, the cross of Christ. Christ. All the devil's works we send, we send to the cross of Christ. Christ. And all our hopes we, we set on the risen Christ. Christ. Christ, the Son of righteousness, shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you. I remain with you now and always. Amen. 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 Now, let's sing the uh, closing hymn and let's receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit, especially. Uh, we, we, we don't have announcement today. Yes. Um, let's sing a uh, closing hymn. Uh, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. And um, that's from Beethoven's uh, Symphony Number no. Nine. Let's sing with our joyful heart, receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Joy. <laughs>
Yes, let's respond with this joyful word. And to be sent out into the world to witness Jesus. Let us rejoice in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hey, let's see. 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 So we are blessed that we have this sanctuary this more than one year that we still can feel that worship God in our home and, and in His temple. In his temple. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Lots of work. Bye bye.